comes Walter P. Chrysler. Walter P. Chrysler was, at that time in 1927, already an incredibly wealthy man, but not from the Chrysler automobile. That would come starting in 1923, but the bulk of his money was made when he uh, headed up Buick. Uh, Chrysler was known as an incredible innovator with the automobile, with his engines, with his styling. The one thing that he moved on was when one of his designers suggested around 1922, when the radio made its debut, that might be a really cool idea to put a radio in a car. And Chrysler said, who, who wouldn't want to listen to a radio in a car? <laughs> Other than that, though, the guy was on the mark. And what he wanted to do in 1927 was move this Chrysler Corporation out of Detroit here into New York City. And this was the perfect opportunity for him to do that because he bought the property, and with it, he got an architect with plans. So it was perfect, except for a couple of things, but I'll get to that in a second. Chrysler didn't make a lot of changes in Van Allen's plans, but he did tell Van Allen that he wanted a design that would glorify the Chrysler automobile, which in many ways was kind of glorifying the ego of Walter Chrysler. I mean, after all, it was his last name. The most distinctive 